Hiroshi Ishiguro has invented the world's most lifelike android. My goal is to understand what is a human. So that is the reason why I'm building a very human-like robot. He calls his invention a geminoid, after the Latin word for twin. She can smile, blink, nod, even talk. <laughs> Professor Ishiguro gave her all the subtle movements that we humans use when we interact. I'm sitting right now, right? But uh, my body always moving and eyes are always moving. We carefully they measured this you know, subconscious movement and they developed a computer program for controlling the android. The beauty of androids is they never get tired of your company. But if you're tired of theirs, just unplug. This is actually the world's second Geminoid. The first was Geminoid Ishiguro. Yes, the scientist made his own mirror image. One, two, three, robot. It's a twin brother or something. It, it, no, he is not myself. A different person. The beauty of this machine is more than skin deep. Artists made molds of the face. Then came the skin and teeth. And a part of this hair is mine, right? And, uh, well, for example, the hair around here, and these are my hairs, and this is also the, my hairs. Even the arm hairs are real. But the really hard part was refining the subtle facial movements. They use 13 actuators, tiny motors perfectly placed around the head. The human has many muscles on the face, and we are just replacing the you know, muscle with the actuators, right? For example, they, you know, to have a smiling face, we need to lift up here, right? We need to have actuators for, for, for making this kind of you know, lip movement. For the speaking, uh, we, ha we need to have these actuators also, right? <laughs> Everything is okay? Yeah, everything is okay. Today, a little bit tired. Scientists have been known to talk to themselves, and now he can, except the Geminoid isn't really talking. How is my face now? Is it good? This grad student is controlling its every move. We have a webcam to track my face, and when I move my face, the robot is going to move the face according to my movement. How about the research? Um, the research project is going well? Yeah, my research project is going well. The software can track the feature on the face, for example, eyes, mouth, or cheek of me, and then the robot gonna uh, synchronize the motion with uh, my movement. The Geminoid mirrors its master's movements. It's not so much a robot as a high-tech remote-controlled marionette. 